I'm at the TV Logic booth here at NAB 2016, and I'm joined by Wes from TV Logic and our good friend Alistair Chapman uh, from XD Cam User, or founder, owner of XD yes. Cam User. Um, and we're here to talk about this, which on the face of it looks like a lot of other monitors kicking around the show, but it has uh, some tricks. Wes, what, what, what have we got here? Well, what we're looking at is a brand new 24 inch uh, monitor that is actually full 3840 by 2160 native resolution. And in addition to that HD resolution, this panel also is a very ultra wide gamut. So okay, that, 4K resolution. Right, 4K resolution. And then the, the color gamut goes all the way out to DCI-P3. It actually hits 97% of DCI-P3. So the other thing that's interesting about the monitor is the multitude of ways that you can bring a 4K signal into it. So it supports 4K um, via a quad 3G SDI, which has been the standard way of bringing 4K in. But now we also support 6G single link, which gets you out to 30p. 4K 30p. Right, and then 12G, which gets you out to 60p 4K. And in addition to that, we have HDMI 2.0, which is also up to 4K 60p. Um, Alistair, why is yeah. why is that significant? I mean, what, what's what's why, is, why are you standing here? Why is this interesting to you? Well, it's really interesting because up to now I've been using TVs, 4K TVs for my grading because, you know, 4K... Like, like a lot of other people on, yeah. a, on a, a more modest budget. Yeah, a 4, 4K monitors have been prohibitively expensive. They've been crazy money. So this is now an affordable 4K monitor. But also, you know, lots of people are using stuff like Resolve to grade with now and they might have a Blackmagic card in their computer and of course they have the 12G capability. So when you're producing your image, you're able to see that full 44460p picture information as it is because a TV will enhance the picture. TVs are all about making the picture look as good as possible and that's not what you want. You want to see the image as it truly is and that's why you need a proper monitor with better image processing that isn't going to add a load of sharpening and things like that. And that's really exciting plus of course you have the different gamma curves and LUTs because you know things now I'm doing stuff that are normally going on 709 TV we've got HDR on the horizon but now we're also looking at piece uh, delivery with P3 so if I want to do something for 709 and something that's going to be projected I can just switch the gamma curve option on the monitor and grade and check that both my 709 masters my P3 masters etc are all good so it's a really exciting monitor um, can we see any of that? Can we see what the, what the, how your LUT setup works sure, and, so and, and, and the various ve waveform vector scope, the whole lot's on here, right? Yeah, let me just show you the, uh, the LUT, well, yeah, the LUT feature. So basically, if you go in to, this is all the, the menu system, if you go into the picture and color settings, go down here to our color space, we have built-in 3D lookup tables for Rec. 709, SMPTC, EBU, D Cinema, which is DCI-P3, and then we do a BT-2020 emulation. And so those, those are 3D LUTs. In addition to that, we also have adjustable gamma curve between two point, all the way down to, to uh, I, think, I don't really know how far it goes. <laughs> no, <laughs> it goes yes. low and high, but, but it's, it's, it's 0.5 increments. So it gives you very, very, uh, very, very minute control of gamma. So these are features that are very, very helpful in a, you know, in a grading situation. Um, and in terms of price, just how affordable is this? Well, um, in the US, it, we, we listed at 8,295. That price probably doesn't apply to the, the, you know, to the UK, but that that's, gives you a ballpark of what to, uh, you know, to expect. So, in terms, a, in, so in, in, yeah, in terms of professional uh, right. monitoring solutions, that's actually incredibly cheap. Yeah. Um, and uh, you know, I, I think, I suppose you wouldn't use this. Would you use this in field use as well, or, or not well, really? It, 24 inch is actually just a nice size, especially for DIT work, where you're working on a cart as a DIT. You know, it's big enough. 4K, if you're going to sort of see focus issues, things like that, 24 inch is about the size you need to be as a minimum to start to see problems with focus and stuff like that. Um, but 24 inch isn't so big or so heavy that it becomes cumbersome on a DIT cart or in the back of a small van for a news uh, trucks, those really small OB units that are now cropping up. So it's a good size and I know there's a 17 inch as well that has a 4K input, it's only an HD display but that does have a one to one pixel option as well so you can feed 4K into it, go into one to one pixel, see, look for focus and things like that. So if you need a smaller monitor, there's a 17 inch version as well. Okay. Um, and has this got XLR power on the back? It does. Okay. So 
you can, you can, you totally use it in the field if you want to. Gentlemen, thank you very much. Thank you.